Hey guys, Xiaobi and today we are testing out Oliver, the Wind Sky Surfer. So this guy I think is going to be a very fun strong damage dealer. His skill 3 is an upgraded version of his skill 2. Skill 2 can absorb attack bar and increase enemy cooldown by 1 turn and it has a 50% chance to land. If you max skill, there's going to be a 75% chance to land. It is not really high, okay? You cannot rely on this to increase enemy cool time. Also, one turn increase means one violent proc can fix that problem real quick. So in terms of control, this skill is not very good. He awakened to accuracy, which is great though, because um, he kind of do a lot of things in his skill set. Skill 3 is an upgraded version of skill 2. It will increase enemy cool time by one turn again and absorb attack bar by 50%. There's no chance with this. It is going to be a 100% chance. There's no 50% chance to land with this one. It will land if you don't get resisted by enemy resistance. In addition, decrease your skill cooldown time by one turn if you successfully increase the skill cooldown time. So very similar to this skill and also Increase the damage dealt to the enemy by 20% each up to 100% whenever you use the skill on your turn. When you maxed out the skill, it has 4 turn cooldown. But here's the good part. If you land the skill cooldown time here, it will decrease to 3 turn. If you land the skill cooldown time here, it will be decreased to 2 turn. So the combo will be skill 3, land the cooldown time, skill 2, land the cooldown time, skill 3 is back again and uh, it can do a pretty good amount of damage. We are running a violent speed quick damage attack set. This is not my account, so I don't want to mess around too much with runes. We are going in with this, okay? All right, so skill three, we're gonna go for the big, the skill animation is so cool, by the way. We're gonna increase cool time. As you can see right here, only two is supposed to be three turn cooldown right now. Please land it. Dude, we got like 70 accuracy. What are you talking about? So uh, with one violent proc though, we have skill 3 again, which is pretty good. I'm gonna try to kaboom, get the cooldown time. Skill 2, please. We get nothing. <laughs> so you can't really rely on this skill. Even with skill up, I don't think it's going to be very consistent with, um, with a cooldown time increase. But the skill 3 can be relied on though. So boom. Get a cooldown time, please get a cooldown time, please. See, cooldown time and skill 3 is back again. And because he has a lot of attack power reduction in his skill set, he is moving constantly, which is really cool. So you can do this, kaboom, cooldown time again, and skill 2 is ready again immediately. So if you are consistently landing your cooldown time decrease, this guy really doesn't really have cooldown. So he can constantly just spam the skill onto the enemy. Which is um, which is pretty cool, I would say. Now let's try to bring him into RTA to see um how fun we can have. All right, dispatch done. Try. I mean, he's faster than my Oki, so I guess dispatch done. Oh, we pushed back enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase cool time Vanessa. Okay, we get a violent proc. I'm gonna increase cool time of. Who do I increase cool time of this guy? Okay. Because Oki can stun the rest of them. Oh, we didn't get a cool time though. Oki can stun here. He got the tech, but I don't know why the tech didn't move. Maybe he, the Draco was too tanky. Nice damage. We finished this guy. Oh, not bad, not bad. He's like um more aggressive Gany. I don't know, a lot of increased cool time, but not the best at doing so. I don't think he's gonna be meta, but you can definitely build him for fun. As a win unit, if you want to use this guy in Siege in the future, you cannot use him now. You're going to be faced with Kakano. I don't think a win damage dealer is a good candidate for Siege. Usually the win unit you use nowadays is like a tank. So in Siege, a soft, hard-hitting damage dealer is not easy to use. And increased school time is meaningless in PvE, most of it. It's kind of meaningless. He's going to be hard to be used in PvE as well. I think for the most part, it's going to be used in uh, RTA as an increased cool time unit against a non fire based team like this. Oh, he's really slow though. Let's go for this. I really hope we can get like a defense break set up here. How about we actually get that? Oh, 
but I really want to be safe and push back first. No violent proc. We're going to go for skill 3 onto this guy, get his cool time out of the way. Just to make sure it's going to die later, you know. We absorb some attack bar, which is really cool. We're going to try to do that on Barbara as well. Boom. We got some cool time from Barbara too, which means we have the skill again ready. Yeah. Let me try to sleep this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I was about to defense break and pop somebody. But that didn't happen. <laughs> I know we're not testing in Guardian, but like this account belongs to, you know, a dedicated viewer on my stream. And uh, I know he got the runes for it. And uh, I think he, he's not farming in Fighter 3 or anything. It's just that he's very unmotivated to do RT right now. <laughs> okay, what's going to happen here? Oh, we actually move. He's really slow. Let me get the pushback. Let's go. Get the pushback. Very nice. Despair stun, maybe. Double despair stun. We're going to go for increased cool time on the Chung Pung. So no pushback from him. We missed the increased cool time though. I'm going to go for this on Ciara so that we can maybe take the bomb out of the way. We got the increased cool time on the attack bar from Ciara. I'm going to do this. The Chung Pung was really swishy. We might kill the Chung Pung here. No, we can't kill the Chung Pung. Um, maybe because he did a lot of damage. <clears throat> Stun. Oh shit. But oh we missed the thing, right? We we missed the the cool time. We land the cool time on Ciara though. But uh there's a lot more cool time shit that's happening. So compared to like a win unit like Chung Pung, his control is is not the best. He's probably more for like um a one shot kind of deal, but he'll require attack buff and defense break, which is a lot of requirement. So as you can see right there, in terms of control power, not the most amazing thing, yeah? Not the most amazing thing. He needs someone to control for him so he can start like just going crazy because I think his raw power is coming out from the damage of skill 3 and you need somebody to control the enemy for him and then he can just like cycle turn constantly between the enemies and he can start doing some nasty damage. I really hope they buff this, you know, increased cooldown thing to like two turn because one turn is like... We all know Violent Proc doesn't give a shit <laughs> about one turn increase cool time. Okay, we got a defense break. Let me try to one shot Icarus. Boom. Oh my god, that's some nasty damage. And we are on like a bruiser bill. Like not high attack, not crazy things. Let me try to reset you maybe in case you want a Violent Proc. Alright, she's dead. Let me try to reset this guy. Okay, boom. We got the attack bar, I didn't get the reset though. Here's the AoE damage. Oh my god, if they start proccing violent like that... <laughs> those units can chop us up, bro. They can chop us up. If that dark thing hurt it, violent, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, a lot, a lot of trouble. Okay, we got a nice little violent here. One violent. Nice, we all crit. Oh, that's a nice crit though. Boom. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that skill animation is so freaking cool. I don't know why, but it just, it's just really cool. But once again, the good thing is, you don't have to care about glancing when you want to increase cooldown time. So that's the, that's the good part about it. That's the good part about it. Alright. Oh my god, he's so fast? That's crazy. This is like 280. The vigor is zooming. Alright, we didn't get most of the stuff, but we did get... No, we get most of the stuff. We're going to try to defense break. I'm going to go a bit greedy. Ah, oh, Okay, we're going to go for the reset on the Tyrannus. Kaboom, get the reset. And then he's going to move. This has auto in because he's auto bought from China. <laughs> Easy stun. Okay, we're going to reset the Rika as well. So that she can't just, you know, maybe violent proc out and destroy me. We're going to try and do some damage on the Vega here. Big damage maybe. That's, that's pretty good damage. Oh, we got it again. Let me try to uh, not let you move. How about you go down a little bit? You know, lose some attack bar. Stun? Yeah, eat that. Now we reset all that cool time. And then we should be good. We're going to pop this Tyrannus. Maybe that's going to be enough? I'm not too sure. Let's go. Boom. Ah, that's not enough. We got a cooldown time though. So uh, I think skill 2 is ready once again. Let me try to kill this Tyrannus real quick. Because we reset him quite a few times already. Um, stun Rika. Oh no. <gasps> That's scary. Can I stun them, please? <laughs> I want to set up some sort of defense break skill 3, bro. That's gonna. Oh, nice, nice. Good heal, good heal. 
you staying alive for my experiment. I like that. Defense break, strip. Nice. Okay, okay. We got a little little defense break strip right there on the Vigor. That's actually kind of perfect. Stun. I don't want to AOE yet. I want to see his damage. Oh, shit. Maybe get a cool time here. Okay, skill 3 is ready. We can pop that Vigor, dude. We can pop that Vigor. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. No, no, no. That Vigor is mine. That Vigor is mine. Nobody touching the Vigor, okay? Leave it to me, Oliver, with the big old mega impulse gun. Ooh. That did some nasty damage, bro. I kind of like that. <laughs> all right, all right. That was not bad. That was pretty fun. That was pretty, pretty fun. All right, guys. That was Oliver, the Wind Sky Surfer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. He's a, he's a pretty fun unit. He's not like, you know, insanely good or anything. But he was pretty fun to use. And um, maybe we're going to build him. If you have him, maybe you're going to build him. I'm not too sure. But let me know what you think about Oliver in the comment section down below. And... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.